Hi everyone, welcome to Molly's Storytime. Today's story is I Love You Blue Kangaroo by Emma Chichester Clark. Blue Kangaroo belonged to Lily. He was her very own kangaroo. Every night Lily said, I love you Blue Kangaroo. And Blue Kangaroo fell fast asleep in Lily's arms. Then one day Lily's Aunt Jemima came to tea. She gave Lily a wild brown bear. He was huggable and furry with wild brown eyes. That night, Lily took wild brown bear up to bed with her. She said, I love wild brown bear. And I love you, blue kangaroo. Blue kangaroo didn't sleep quite well after that. The next Saturday, Lily's mother's friend Florence came to tea. She gave Lily a yellow cotton rabbit. He was floppy and fleecy with velvety ears. That night, as Lily got ready for bed, she said, I love yellow cotton rabbits. <clears throat> and I love wild brown bear. And I love you, blue kangaroo. But blue kangaroo hardly slept at all after that. Then roly-poly Uncle George came to stay. He gave Lily two furry puppies. They were cuddly and fluffy with shiny black noses. That night as Lily put on her pyjama she said, I love the furry puppies. I love yellow cotton rabbit, I love wild brown bear and I love you blue kangaroo. After that blue kangaroo hardly slept a wink. On Lily's birthday Mrs Appleby gave Lily a wiggly green crocodile, their great uncle Arthur gave her a long-eared owl and Lily's cousin Amelia gave her a little tiny teddy. <coughs> that night, as Lily brushed her teeth, she said, I love tiny teddy, I love long-eared owl, I love wiggly green crocodile, I love the furry puppies, I love yellow cotton rabbit, I love wild brown bear and I love you blue kangaroo. Blue kangaroo lay on the edge of the bed and stared at the ceiling. In the middle of the night, Lily rolled over, Tiny Teddy rolled over, Long Eared Owl rolled over, and then the Wiggly Green Crocodile rolled over. The Furry Puppies rolled over, Yellow Cotton Rabbit rolled over, Wild Brown Bear rolled over, and Blue Kangaroo rolled out of the bed onto the floor. He looked up at the sleeping creatures. <gasps> oh, there's just no room for me anymore, he said sadly. And he hopped across the carpet and out of the door. He hopped along to the passage to the baby's room and he hopped up into the baby's warm coat. Goo goo boo gangaloo gurgled the baby as he squeezed blue kangaroo tightly in his pink little fists. The next day Lily looked everywhere for blue kangaroo. Goo goo boo gangaloo cooed the baby. Mine cried the baby. No shouted Lily. Lily, shouted her mother, you've got so many animals you can let the baby have just one. Not blue kangaroo, she cried Lily. Lily ran to her room. When she came back, her arms were full. He can have all of these, she said, but nobody can have blue kangaroo. That night, the baby went to bed with the wild brown bear, the yellow cotton rabbit, the furry puppies, the wiggly green crocodile and the long-eared owl and little tiny teddy. Lily went to bed with Blue Kangaroo. Blue Kangaroo snuggled up to Lily. She stroked his blue ears, then she kissed the tip of his small blue nose. I love you, Blue Kangaroo, she said. And Blue Kangaroo fell fast asleep in Lily's arms. Thank you for listening and remember to subscribe to my channel for more great stories. Bye.